This week, the heat is back. Time again to talk to Lonnie Quinn about the first alert forecast. Lonnie? You know, yesterday, temperatures in the mid-70s, right? Cool. And then here we are today. A lot of folks hitting that 90-degree mark or above. Central Park, you just missed it. Good-looking view there as you look over towards the east side. A lot of green tops of the trees. There's the boathouse right there. Temperature right now outside is 87. All right, but we talked about how the feels like temperature is up to 95 degrees around Edison, New Jersey. Uh, if you look at what the observed highs were, you actually had yeah, some you know, lower to almost mid 90s out there. Somerville hit 93. That's the biggest number on this map. 91 Poughkeepsie, 90 Newburgh, 92 in Toms River. And again, you had a heat index out there as well, but the heat index is going up even higher by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. So let's talk about my list here of things to be expecting as we look ahead. There's a couple of stray showers out there right now, but they're going to be gone as you go through the nighttime hours. You get a nice day for yourselves tomorrow to maybe hit the beach or do something outside. Lower humidity, lots of sunshine. I don't see a rain chance out there. A tougher situation develops on Thursday and Friday. National Weather Service has already issued a heat advisory those two days. We've issued a red alert because we do it just in, in our own office here. Georgia and I discuss it uh, here at CBS2. Look, if it's going to feel like 95 degrees or above, it's hazardous heat. So National Weather Service, they issue the heat advisory, we issue a red alert. We just want you to take it easy on those days, especially if you have any sort of health issues or elderly folks got to be careful. A couple of those little showers are out there right now. Not too much of anything. Uh, right on top of 84 and 684 in that southeast corner. You see it right there. There's 84, 684. Putnam County catching a little bit of rain out there over towards Danbury as well. Moving very quickly, so they will be pushed out of the area. Here's your big picture, all right? You're going to get a good looking day tomorrow with lower humidity, but the story will then become this area shaded in this sort of like hot pink color. Those are big temperatures that are going to be moving in. Again, so far this year, the biggest number we've recorded has been 95 degrees. We could possibly be above that on Thursday. Next rain chance, you see it right here. That'll get here really like Friday into Saturday. And any rain you pick up, let's hope we get some good numbers out there because look at some of these deficits, all right? I mean, Newark, New Jersey, since June 1st, almost six inches below where you should be. JFK, 3.24. Islip, 3.03. LaGuardia, over two inches. And Bridgeport, Connecticut, about three quarters of an inch below where you should be. For tomorrow, 89. Overall, it's a better day. All right, same temperature, just less humidity out there. Thursday, Peak heat and humidity feels like 97 in the city. And look at all those areas where it feels like the triple digits out there. So across the board, 89 for your day tomorrow. It's a nice looking day. 94 on Thursday. We've issued that red alert, Dana, because 94 feels like 95 to maybe even 105 degrees. 89 Friday could also be a red alert day. I'll keep you posted on that. Then that rain chance develops Friday into Saturday. A better looking day on Sunday with a slight chance for some rain. Dana, all yours. A lot of heat, though. Thanks.